Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Mahaguru Yash Architecture Classes. And as far you know that we have already started our preparation for GATE 2021, and it's just few months away. So we have started we have started a practice by discussing some few important topics from the syllabus. But right now today I will be exploring some different thing. Like for I uh, like for next. Uh, four to five videos I will be discussing some important numericals so in gate paper numericals is the key <coughs> to get higher marks because these are of two marks and if you crack them right you'll have the you'll always have an upper edge for the next four to five or I'll just look into it we'll discuss uh, on some important numericals so these are some sample numericals <coughs> from the gate exam itself so there are some uh, frequent kinds of numericals which are <coughs> frequently asked within the exam. So one of those kinds will be discussed here. So let's begin. The first question is uh, from gate 2020. <laughs> so in a residential complex, the central area is to be converted as a detention pond <coughs> for stormwater management. For a 24 hour uh, rainfall event of 100 mm, 100% of storm water of central area, 70% of storm water runoff from the rest of the complex is to be held at the detention pond. The detention pond is the central play area. So area distribution is given in the pond. We need to find out what is the depth of the <coughs> detention pond. So very simple. Uh, most of them who has given this exam this time must have cracked it very easily. So you have to simply use the storm water formula which is sigma CIA. Sum of all the runoff coefficient into intensity of rainfall into area. So I've prepared this small table from where it is easily available, easily cleared. So type of area, you can see this is the type of area, clear. Area is also clear. Runoff coefficient, clear. Next is intensity. <laughs> So intensity is uh, 100 mm. So for a 24 hour rainfall, the event for 100 mm of intensity. Okay. So to find the runoff, to find the total runoff from each of the individuals, <coughs> you will do a CIA, which is runoff coefficient into intensity into area. So you will get that this uh, thing. So now the next thing which we notice is it says that 100% uh, of storm water from central play area and 70% from uh, storm water from other rest of the sources. That means 100% of the central runoff area is to be taken out and the rest should be 70%. When I talk about 70%, it should be 0.7. You don't multiply it by 70. You multiply since the percent, you will multiply it with <coughs> 0.7. Sorry. So next. So uh, the total water, uh, storm water collected in liters. So uh, you will multiply five. Uh, you will multiply this. Sorry, this should be four. So this and this would be multiplied because 0.7 of this much is to be used, or one percent or the hundred percent of this to be used. You will convert it. You will find the total liters. Now, <coughs> will you will convert this liters into uh, volume because we want to know the total volume of water. So. 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters. You will just directly divide it by 1000. So you will uh, find these numbers and you just sum it up. You will find the total volume of water is 114 cubic meters. <coughs> Remember, we need to find the height of this uh, water level. Uh, and also it was mentioned that the central play area is converted into a... The central play area is converted into the detention pond. <coughs> the surface area of the... Uh, surface area total surface area of the central play area would be considered we all you also remember the formula that volume is equal to surface area into height so you know the volume which is 114 uh, cubic meters you know the surface area which is uh, this should be 150 sorry i guess it's uh, typing mistake 150 into h so you'll find h is equal to 0.76 meters because we've considered cubic meters, so it will be meters. But remember, the answer is asked in MA. So most of the people who got this question wrong did the wrong part was they didn't convert 
0.76 meters into mm and they just lot even though just tried they did the whole process correct <coughs> they missed it so i'll just warn you guys whenever you finally put the answer for any numerical type questions just check what kind of uh, units are they asking in because it would be a short sure shot plus 2 or a minus 0.67 <coughs> that's why please be aware the next question is from again 2020 in a single phase alternate current circuits an electric lamp is uh, rated 100 watts if a 220 volts is impressed on it the power factor is 0.85 in energy the energy in watt per hour rounded off to one decimal place delivered in an hour is so we need to calculate the total energy by from the electric lamp in one hour so we'll use a very basic formula that power factor is equal to real power upon apparent power <coughs> so what happens is uh, whenever the electricity is given some amount of electricity is always uh, lost in the <coughs> lost in case in the transmission and similarly the total power which the device is supposed to give out it doesn't it because of some energy losses though some power gets reduced so power factor is uh, real factor by apparent power uh, so actually we are given with a power factor of 0.85 and we know that the real power so power is always in watts we know that the power <coughs> real power is 100 watts but we need the apparent power which is actual power which is dissipated so by using this formula we will find that the actual power which we get is 1117 the apparent power is equal to 107.65 watts and it has been asked that we need to calculate the energy for one hour so energy is basically power into time so we know the, the, the power is 117.65 and <coughs> the time is one hour so the answer is also is asked in watt per hour so directly watt per hour so this can be easily given as 117.65 <coughs> for the next question it is from gate 2019 and this question was i guess four to five times asked in the last 10 years so the load on an rcc column is 150 kilonewton the soil bearing capacity is 80 kilonewton per meter square assuming a factor of safety as 1.2 the side of the square column footing in meter is rounded off to one decimal place. So it is given that the factor of safety is 1.2. <coughs> that means uh, 1.2 times we are reducing the soil bearing capacity. So it has a bearing capacity of 80. But we won't design for 80. We will design it for something 1.2 times smaller than 80 because if you design for 80 and your load changes it will cross 80 and your building will automatically fail so we have this term known as factor of safety by which you reduce your maximum bearing capacities <coughs> so if it is 1.2 then you'll use the soil bearing capacity of 80 upon 1.2 which will give us 66.6 kilo newton per meter square <coughs> so it is pretty easy to see uh, it says that 66.67 kN per meter square means that one square kilometer one square meter of soil can take up 66.67 kN. So in order to take 150 kN via a simple unitary math method, one square kilometer gives you 66.67, then x square kilometer will give you 150 kN. You do a unitary method and you'll find that the total area would be 2.25 square meter but actually we need to calculate the side of the square so we'll just since it's a square let the length of the square be x so x times x gives you 2.25 which is x square gives you 2.25 therefore x is 1.5 <coughs> again checking the uh, unit so it's asked in meters and we are also answering in meters <coughs> so next question is uh, from 2019 a public utility building of 500 5000 meter square was constructed five years before on a site of one hectare the present value of open land in that location is rupees 100 per meter square okay so the present value of land is 100 meters 100 per meter square and the present cost of construction of such building is 2500 per meter square 
if the value of the building is assumed to be depreciating at a rate of 6% per annum then the present value of the property by valuation cost method so if you want to find the value of the property so the value of property will include the land value and also the depreciated build of the building so land value will always also know that <coughs> for calculating land value we'll just multiply the area into the uh, rate of, of the land <coughs> but calculating the depreciating depreciated uh, cost of the building you will use the first formula which says the depreciated building value is equal to building cost <coughs> times 1 minus difference depreciation rate to the part number of years so we know now that uh, the cost the building cost would be the building area into cost of construction which is 5000 times 2500 into 1 minus depreciation rate here depreciation rate is 0.6 and <coughs> it is taken to the power of 5 because it is said that uh, we need to it since the building is 5 years old <coughs> for the 5 years so you can see the value of the depreciated building is 91 uh, it's 91 lakh 25000 now when we calculate the property of value we will find the land value plus the depreciated building value so your land value is 1 hectare so again we need to change your uh, <coughs> we need to change the unit so 1 hectare is 10000 meters square so 10000 multiplied by 100 which is the value of the land plus your 91 lakh 25000 so this would be your total so uh, 1 crore 1 lakh 25000 would be the cost of the <coughs> property the last question for today is again from grade 2019 and this question also i see was asked two to three times so again it is very important so as per the question a room of dimension 12 meter uh, of dimension this is mechanically ventilated by an air conditioner the temperature difference is 12 degrees celsius we are considering that the air is changed 3 times per hour the volumetric specific heat of air is given we'll just assume that 1 ton of refrigeration is equal to 3.5 kilowatt now we need to calculate the the tonnage of the air condition <coughs> so the amount of heat transfer which is required is equal to your volume into number of changes required into specific heat other into your uh, temperature difference so you have four units volume number of changes specific heat and temperature difference so teen ghante mein usse total kitna heat nikalna hai to ye formula aapko total heat dega so the amount of heat transfer is volume so volume is 10 into 12 into 3.5 okay number of changes is 3 matlab itna itne se hame total volume of पता चला कि इतने वॉल्यूम को वी नीड टू फाइंड दी टोटल दिस इज द टोटल वॉल्यूम टू विच हीट निकालनी है विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद द स्पेसिफिक हीट एंड देन वी मल्टीप्लाइड विद द टेंपरेचर डिफरेंस सो दिस इज द टोटल व्हाट डू से दिस इज द टोटल हीट दिस इज द टोटल हीट दिस इज द जूल्स पर सेकंड बिकॉज़ दिस इज जूल पर सेकंड बिकॉज़ आई वर्क विद दिस the next uh, we need to convert this we don't work with joule per second when we talk about energies and power we talk in watts and tons so first of all we need to convert this our total heat into watts so we know uh, we'll just divide it because uh, one we'll divide it by 3600 because one r is equal to 3600 seconds so which gives us that 5 to 50 watt so we need a air condition of 5 to 50 watt <clears throat> but the answer we need to uh, we need to answer the question into ton it into tons it's been given that one uh, ton is equal to 3.5 kilowatts 3.5 kilowatts is 3500 watts so the tonnage of refrigeration would be 5500 by 3500 which is 1.5 tons so if you want to you want to get such interesting <coughs> solution for your, all the questions do buy our book gate architecture and planning 2021 which is available on the amazon kindle app it's an ebook soon we would be launching our book by the end of september in our paperback version this book would be helpful because past 30 years question paper would uh, solve question paper you would find other than that you would also find some short uh, study material from individual sections <coughs> other than that this book also has a plus point of having a picture book the picture book will have 100 plus architects with their buildings 
you'll also find a plan inventory and Pritzker Prize Award winners. I am not stopping here. We will also provide you this small table where major books uh, and their authors, which is frequently asked in GATE, would be also covered. One could also just buy the, uh, the picture book, which consists of the architects and their works, your Pritzker Prize winners and plan inventory, also in an... Uh, also in the Kindle version. Don't worry uh, that you will be thinking that you do not have a Kindle app. You don't have, you don't own a Kindle. So Amazon had made their Kindle uh, app on Google Play and uh, iOS, uh, your uh, Apple Store for free. You can just download it and then buy this book, and you will have this book on your fingertip. So I'll be linking down all the uh, description and all the links in the description box below. Other than that, thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe, share and comment and I'll be back with my next video. Thank you for watching.